Hey everybody, so Willoughby and I are creating lots of really cool online foraging products this year. So different courses that uh, have different specialities. So we have a virtual foraging survival trip, we have a mushroom intensive for edibles, um, and then we also have an ecosystem based or urban mushroom uh, tour with Willoughby. So. All of those are, are coming out uh, or already released, so check them out. Um, and we've got lots of other programs as well. For example, our medicinal uh, plant program with um, herbalist Lori Snyder, which is a really fun one. So lots of ways to entertain you and to teach you more about foraging in the Pacific Northwest. So right here, we have a very uncommonly encountered medicinal mushroom, at least in this part of the world. This is chaga, Inonotus obliquus. And it's not actually a mushroom, but a sclerotium, which is like a strong, resilient energy storage, long-term holding structure made of dense mycelium, lots of melanin, and large amounts of fungal sugars. It is growing on this betula pendula, or European birch, which has been planted as a street tree. And it's quite rare in BC, uh, especially in southern BC. You can find it more in the north, and certainly people do. And it is uh, a very well-loved medicinal mushroom, especially traditionally in Russia, where it's been used as a cancer treatment and perhaps as a preventative for quite a long time. when you pick him, you want to like very slowly ease him out of the ground so that you don't disturb the mycelial mat. I'm going to keep saying that over and over again for each mushroom species that I describe and, and show you how to pick. Um, uh, chanterelles don't require to be harvested whole like pine mushrooms, so you can't actually just cut them. So you could, I didn't have to pull it out of the forest, I could have just cut it at a certain point, but I find with Pacific uh, goldens is that sometimes they have a really long tap root and that's really tasty as well so I want to get as much of the mushroom as possible so I'll slowly ease it out of the soil like that and then just clean up that base and then clean off any pine needles if you have a little brush that's great to get all these little um, needles out of there but other than that this guy is nice and clean you can also see that there's a nice white center and there's it's not hollow and so there's your, your perfect chanterelle 